Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to, to subscribe. Check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0, our podcast and Patreon. You can find the links in the description box below. So today, I'm going to be reacting to the Army of Satan part 6 Reloaded, the Cabinet of Satan. <coughs> So without wasting time, let's get into the video. So people have been talking about Iblis, where is he? He's alone. The Prophet has reported, you know, in a very sound hadith, which is in the Muslim, reported by Jabir, that Arsh uh, al-Shaytan, Arsh al-Iblis, ala al-Ma. Arsh al-Iblis, ala al-Ma. The throne of Iblis, the throne of Shaytan, this is the master Shaytan. The master Shaytan, his throne is on water. Where? What water? What ocean? Allahu Ta'ala A'lam. But there are certain indications that could maybe tell us where his throne could be. There's another hadith where it says, Innahu, this is also in, in Muslim, Innahu, عند برزخ الماء. عند برزخ الماء. What's a barzakh? A barzakh, it's like a partition. You know, when you have the sweet water and the salty water, you know, whereby the sweet water does not merge with the salty water. That's a barzakh. That's a partition. In this hadith, he says he is on this barzakh. His, ash, his throne is on this barzakh. His throne is on this barzakh, which is again somewhere in, 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 a, in an ocean. But now, I want to bring something up here. Have you heard of the Triangle of Bermuda. What happens there? I mean, something that nobody could still explain after today. Flight 19. Have you heard of Flight 19? That disappeared. All these flights and ships that, that disappeared. The Tiger 1948, you know, um, they got the black box. They hear the guy saying, I, uh, I see something, I see something, I don't know what it is. And nobody could explain, I see something, I don't know what it is. And then they said, okay, we're sending help. It's been recorded. It, you can play it, it, you can find it on the internet. Uh, we're sending help, we're sending help. He said, okay, and then the guy comes back and he says, no, I'm, I cannot control the plane. I cannot control the plane. I don't know what's this. I don't know what it is. And then he goes back again and he says, don't send nobody, don't send no one. No, nobody can help, not send no one. And then he just, after some time, disappeared. It's not only one flight, but there's so many flights that disappeared and ships that disappeared off of this, this Bermuda. So some said, that, does that mean that maybe the throne of shaitan is there? Allah Ta'ala A'lam but it could be
Who or what is ultimately behind this? Or at least uh, the depth of the rabbit hole got so far. Well, they ain't for a start. Because they're just here today, gone tomorrow, people who are just puppets of a system that's here yesterday, today, tomorrow and the next day. Um, it's not him. I don't care if he's supposed to be the most powerful man in the world. He ain't. He's another bloody glove puppet. And anyone in that job, the same applies to. It's not him either. Here today, gone tomorrow, uh, presidents and leaders who are replaced by other leaders. But the thing, the system, the direction goes on because there's something behind that that's pushing that direction on. And nor even is it the corporations. They're still at the level of playing out the control. It's not actually at the point of creating it. It's not the origin. It's not people sitting around tables. They're still at the point of playing it out. You can go into the shadows and you can get closer to where it's coming from, but you're still at the play out level. You go even deeper into the rabbit hole, really deep into the web. And that's where you find people like the Rothschilds and such like. You don't see us, but we control your life. But there's levels beyond that, where it's coming from. But where is it? This reality that we're experiencing has been hijacked by a force that some ancient people call archons, but there's different names right across the ancient world for the same force, the same entities. And um, all over the world, you see this. Uh, in um, the Far East, Central America and other places, they're known as the serpent gods. The Zulus call them the Chittahuri, the children of the serpent. They're the Anunnaki in, uh, in Suma, where Babylon, now Iraq. They're our snake brothers to the Hopi people of um, North America. They're the star people, many, many uh, examples of that. They are the demons of Christianity. To the Gnostics, they are archons and to the Islamic and pre-Islamic world, they're called the jinn. And in their prime form, they are energetic uh, in, in nature. The, the, the uh, classic Satan is called the deceiver and the demon of demons, as this demiurge is called the Archon of Archons. He sits with his shayateen, they're giving him reports. So one shaitan says, I made this man commit zina. And shaitan, he just hears him. This is Bukhari and Muslim, so it's a sound hadith. And he, the shaitan, another shaitan comes and says, I made this man steal. I made this guy do this. I made this guy do that. I made this woman do this. I made this woman make, you know, remove her hijab. I made... So they keep on you know, submitting their reports to him. And then one shaitan, one guy comes and say, This jinni will stand up and say, Today, I was able to separate a husband and a wife. You know what Shaitan will say? You are my man. Come out. And crowns him. Hadith Sahih Muslim, Hadith Jabir. Reflect upon this. Smoking weed is haram. Killing is haram. Adultery is haram. Name any sin you want. Divorce is not haram. Divorce is not haram. Why is he so excited? He's so happy about divorce. Why? Your enemy always likes to do what? Divide and conquer. Now he is able to divide the first unit in the community. Because look at your community. The community is made of what? Units. Uh, imagine a wall, bricks. The family is the first brick in the community. The first unit. Becomes then easy to divide the community, divide a congregation. He has long-term plans. Very 
interesting video this was very really, very really interesting to listen to i like how he brought up the Rothschild, and it's just interesting why do people say that they're behind um everything because people have strong opinions i remember in class they were brought up when we we're talking about political stuff even just now worldly things they're behind that i like what he said by saying um the divide and conquer thing what people don't understand is once we start arguing with each other or making the other person feel less than what they are we're being divided and that they that's what they take advantage of and come in by this by saying oh we can help you guys sort this issue out and totally turn us into something that we're not that's why i i admire the um the muslims because they they have like this strong community this strong brotherhood they're together if the rest of the world could be could come together they wouldn't even think of conquering us because it would be too powerful to even be broken apart otherwise this was interesting and thank you about the bermuda thing thank you very much um he said the bermuda, the bermuda triangle the fact the fact that no one can explain it is amazing other than the bermuda triangle i feel like there's something like that also that happens not in just oceans but in rivers and lakes as well and other water streams that are available Anyway, let me know what you think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.